All right, so this week's episode is coming from uh, Sunlight Light and Sauna. Uh, this is what I do post workout. Um, right into the sauna for 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes sometimes, depending on how bad I'm sweating. As you'll notice, some of the theme, most of the theme here of what I do is talk about recovery, right? Because it's something that I've focused on so much in my career and what I think has kept me kind of kept me going throughout the years and being able to continue to push myself as, as far as I can um, as broken as I've been so this week's episode is not about the sauna um, it is actually more about sleep sleep is something huge that I'm very passionate about firsthand I know that what it can do for the body and what it can do for your recovery so if you're not thinking about how much sleep you're getting how you're sleeping you know your sleep schedule uh, as an athlete or as just as a person who wants to live longer then you are no matter what you're doing no matter how healthy you're eating no matter you know the meditations that you're doing and all that kind of stuff uh, if you're not worried about getting getting as much sleep as possible you're 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 just not going down the right path right you have uh, you're leaving so much on the table I guess is a better way to put it so um, first and foremost you know you should be thinking about how to sleep right getting on a sleep schedule is probably one of the most important things it that you can do right knowing uh, what time you want to go to bed and how much sleep you want to get starting to wind down at night uh, getting away from blue light using blue light uh, blocking glasses is a really big thing it's something that I've, I've started to incorporate and I try to go to bed pretty much once I put my kids to bed at around 9 o'clock I go to bed around 9 30 uh, at the latest um, sometimes I'll get into bed after that like 10 o'clock but n never typically before that uh, in the room you want to get rid of all those all those little lights that you have on your modem, on your router, on your printer, on your computer, on your phone, you should have those not anywhere near your bed, right? Get an old alarm clock. Um, any sort of window light that's coming in, you definitely want to block that out with uh, block out shades if you can. You know, getting it as dark in the room as possible. Uh, any sort of light, basically tell, try to tell you, it puts signals into your brain telling you to wake up, right? That it's time to be, it's, it throws your circadian rhythm off, so. Blocking out as much light as possible is a drastic part of getting good sleep. Another thing that you can do is you can start to track your sleep. There's a, a lot of devices out there. The one that I'm using, I'm not affiliated with them, is Aura or a ring. And it's so far, I've really, really enjoyed it. It's just a ring that you wear on your finger. Um, it's going to tell you how fast you fall asleep, um, what kind of sleep you're getting, if you're getting enough deep sleep, REM sleep, light sleep, if you're waking up at night, things like that, right? So um, I try to track mine, and then what I can do from that is I can learn, I can think about what I did that day, how late I ate a meal, if I had a, if I had a drink, if I had like, an, like a, a beer or something, um, how that affected me, what time of day I had my last coffee, uh, how that affected my sleep, if I got enough deep sleep and REM sleep. Those are the two big major sleeps, right? Your deep and your art REM sleep. Even if you get a ton of light sleep, it is not nearly as powerful, and you'll still start to see the you'll start to see your health uh, deteriorate and your recovery deteriorate. Um, even if you're getting a ton of light sleep and uh, not getting enough deep and REM sleep, so you know making sure that you're not just basically like a lot of people try to think that having a nightcap's good, right? Well, I had a couple of drinks the other night and it showed me that I got a ton of sleep, but none of, I got very little deep and REM sleep. So that was a, a big eye opener to me to being like, wow, I really can't have very many drinks or it's going to really affect my recovery. I think that's a great thing, you know, like it, it, it's the same as tracking your workout, same as tracking your food, right? We're all very, very much in tune with what we're eating, how much we're eating or how much we're working out and things like that but when it comes to our health one of the biggest factors is our sleep so one thing that i didn't know that i listened to a podcast the other day uh the guy's name is peter atia again no affiliation uh he's just a really really smart guy he had a podcast with a uh, the sleep doctor matthew walker on there um, it's where i'm getting a lot of the information that i'm, I'm learning about uh, and so you can go longer without eating than you can without sleep and so uh, just a huge thing to think about and as an athlete as a person who wants to live long and healthy and be there for your kids or your grandkids or whatever it is that you want to be there for you know sleep is definitely huge and it's definitely a big part of your health and your recovery so it's definitely something that you need to start to really think about you know get one of the sleep tracking devices like I said I don't have any affiliation with any of them I, I've found the aura ring I've tried a couple of them and I found the aura ring to be the best uh, it seems like a, a really cool 
piece of gear and you only have to wear it at night. That's the cool thing about it because I'm not really thinking about so much uh, my fitness, like wearing, wearing some sort of fitness band while I'm working out. I really just want to track my sleep right now. Like, um, and so something like that, it's going to be a huge benefit for you guys. Eight hours of sleep minimum. If you're getting less than that, you're not doing, you're doing yourself a disservice. Block out shades in your room, get on a schedule, block out the blue light. Um, do not eat super late. Uh, try to get your a big meal in a couple hours before. Another last thing that they're talking about was how your brain actually becomes, it starts to recognize and associate things with, with things like, so like if you start to watch TV in your bed, it'll actually start to associate that. So what they're saying is you should not even read or watch TV in your room, right? The bedroom is meant for two things. One is sleeping and one is, you know, I think we know what the other one's for. So, um, <laughs> you know, if you're gonna read or watch TV, do it in another room. And then when you start to feel tired, go into bed and just go straight to bed. And your actually your brain will start to associate getting in bed with falling asleep, which will help you fall asleep better. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's getting hot in here. So, <laughs> we're gonna push on through. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe, do the thing. And as always, don't forget to pay the man, even in sleep.